Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shirley and I'm a piano teacher on the Isle of Wight. And today I'm going to talk about um, choosing the right piano or keyboard for yourself or your child um, as you start piano lessons. So the first thing, first thing I would say is the absolute best thing to do is to buy an acoustic piano. And that's one with strings inside. Um, but there are drawbacks with that and sometimes it just doesn't fit into your lifestyle or your your, your living environment. For instance, if you need to um, play quietly, if the kids are asleep and you do your practice or, or you've got neighbours close by, you might want to have something that you can have plug fit headphones into, which um, you won't be able to do on, a, on an acoustic piano. Um, the other thing is uh, you may not you may be short of space so in that case you might have to go for something a little bit smaller um, so the best thing to do would be um, for your piano progress would be to either have an acoustic piano which is one like this like i've got or something that uh, a really good digital keyboard there's lots out there that are really good um, but make sure it's got um, weighted keys and touch sensitivity. Make sure it's full size, which is 88 keys. So um, weighted keys is when, uh, so on a real piano, you get a resistance when you push it down, when you push the key down like this. Whereas some of the keyboards don't have any weight. And so it's very, um, it, it's just floppy when you press it. So that's not good for progress. So make sure it's got weighted keys. Uh, the second thing is touch sensitivity. Um, so that means that when you press it, um, you can make it uh, change the dynamic change, which means you can make it louder or softer as you press it harder. So on a real piano, you press gently to get a soft sound. And you've got a really good range of loud and soft on that. So a really good keyboard or digital piano will have a nice dynamic range on that. So that's really good. Um, and also, obviously with keyboards, you can plug in the headphones. And also you you need something that you can, can get um, a pedal, because eventually you will need a pedal. Mine's down here. Um, I've got three pedals on my piano actually, but you only really need the right hand pedal, um, which is the sustainer pedal. That That's the one you'll need. Uh, you won't need it straight away, so as long as you've got like a jack where you can plug it in at the back, that'll be fine. So, um, talking about um, real pianos, I cannot recommend more um, of the Yamaha V1. Now, this is the piano that I love. Um, it's just small enough that it fits into my music room, um, but makes a big sound. Um, but not too big, but it, it's it's capable of making a big sound. Um, I only live in a little bungalow, so um, I don't need anything too loud. So um, this is, um, it, it, it's a really good workhorse for me as a teacher, and also your child or you will just love playing with it, playing playing their pieces on it. Um, it would just, they just enjoy the, the practice. Having said that, with a digital piano where you've got different voices, if they have, um, different voices that they can um, switch the switch to while they're doing the practice. It just gives a novelty so that if they're, um, if one day they don't want to practice, just change the voice to something a bit more fun. And uh, that's, that's the good thing about a keyboard, um, which you don't have on a piano. But um, I hope that helps. Um, as I said, the Yamaha B1, that's the smallest one in the series and the cheapest one. They go for just under 3000 pounds and they make a lovely sound. And uh, if you have a look on my uh, YouTube channel, all those pieces that I've played have um, been played on the Yamaha V1. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.